This is day four of the Terry Walls Protocol Diet. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Okay, I wanted to bring you in quickly. This is my day four of um, following, trying to follow the Wells Protocol Diet. Um, I ordered her books, but I haven't gotten them yet. But since the whole uh, premise of this diet is mostly vegetables, fruits, and some uh, proteins. So I'm gonna show you what I have going here. So I have here some chicken. This was rotisserie chicken. You should have a quarter of protein and a larger amount of your vegetables from what she says and everything that I've read and seen on, on her videos. I have here some dinosaur um, that I have cleaned and chopped. I have here some asparagus that I have also cleaned and chopped. I have here some um, purple cabbage. And I want to note that everything is organic. None of it has any pesticides or anything like that because that is highly important. I have here some mushrooms. You can actually get whatever type of mushrooms you like. I think I got uh, oyster mushroom, and I forget what this one's called. But in any case, you can get whatever you want. In my pan, I have some yellow be bell pepper and some onions, and a little bit of my garlic that I had, you know, uh, processed and put in olive oil. That's what I have here. I'm going to go ahead and saute this so that I want my onions to get nice and brown. And then I'm going to start assembling all of these veggies. Hey guys, I just wanted to add one more thing. I'm using olive oil, but really you shouldn't use olive oil to cook with in high heat because it does something to the integrity of the oil. But this is all I have. So that's why I'm using it. Um, what you may want to use is either coconut oil or um, what is it called? Avocado oil and those types of oil, but it's not recommended that you use olive oil in high heat to cook. It's recommended to use it for salad or finishings and things of that nature from everything that I have read. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. This is not completely translucent, which is fine, but I'm gonna be adding my um, asparagus. Looks like you see here. I'm gonna let it cook because I don't like my vegetables to be mushy. So I'm just gonna let it let the um, asparagus cook for about maybe five minutes or so. I'm gonna add to it now my finishing salt. It's a gray um, French salt. I have to look this up because I'm wondering if this salt has provides iodine, but I need to look it up because that's one of the things that is very, very important that we put in our bodies, so. That's about it. I'm going to add my mushrooms to it. It looks like a lot of vegetables, but it kind of cooks down, so. It's not really as much as you think it's going to be. Because it does its own thing, you know? Hey guys, I'm bringing you closer so you can see how it's coming along. It's looking fabulous, by the way. I'm going to add my chicken. I'm only adding this much because I have like a half of chicken, but I need to use it. So that's why I'm adding it. You could probably add, get away with adding um, some coconut amino. Um, where is it? I know I have some. I have some over there. Let me, let me get some. Just to give it a little extra flavor. And let me just say that this is probably, let me just look at you real quick. Um, hi guys. Well, let me just say that this is probably a no-no. But I'm going to add some raisins at the end. Um, 
I'm also going to try and link a PDF file that I found for Dr. Terry Walt's uh, protocol diet. And she has there a list of vegetables and things that you can incorporate, that you can eat. So I'm going to try and link that, um, put that link on the description. <coughs> so you can see. Uh, and let me just say that if you think this is going to be easy, it's not. At first, it's not going to be easy because we're so used to eating um, not really what's good for us, but what we crave. I just added the um, dinosaur kale to it. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, guys, sorry that I had to stop at company. Um, so look at how beautiful this is looking. Okay, I was going to add um, the amino, coconut amino. But I don't have any. I thought I did, but I don't. So I'm getting ready to add my red cabbage. And I'm only going to saute it a little bit, honestly. This thing doesn't have hardly any, any seasoning whatsoever. It's basically just, you know, salt, a little bit of salt, some garlic, um, what else did I add in there? Onions and bell pepper and that's that's basically it you guys. I have to look up because my tripod is up high. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this is my dinner. This is gonna be my dinner for the next maybe two days. Probably tomorrow because you're supposed to consume quite a bit of your vegetables. So it makes it hard because I have to make like two meals sometimes because I'm the only one who has the food sensitivity and I'm the only one who has the tremendous amount of pain in my body. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish is to rig my body, rid my body of all of the toxins and all of the things that is causing um, pain. The way I look at it, my body has been hijacked and the ransom to get it back is vegetables and that's what I'm doing. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Have a blessed day. And here you have it guys. It looks absolutely amazing. I did top it off with a little, not even a handful of raisins, but I did add some raisins to it. I hope you give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching.